Hey there, Sagittarius. So this is going to be your monthly love synergy reading for March 2017. So this will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, as you can see, I've already pre-shuffled the cards for you. Just to avoid taking up too much time for your reading. Um, if you're not familiar with how this reading works, I look at Earth, Air, Fire, and Water signs so this is the synergy between you and um all four elements so if your love interest is of a air sign or earth sign sorry earth signs taurus virgo capricorn your synergy this month is reconciliation with the seven of wands so your energy um together is there's some sort of struggle with coming together so whether that's coming together meeting of the minds or coming together to be in the same space energetically there's some sort of fight it's almost like your spirit is trying to obviously make something uh whether you need to reconcile energetically so it could be that you are not in the same space physically obviously one person looks spirit and one looks physical so you're not in that same space to reconcile whatever needs to be reconciled. So it's like spirit is working over time to make it happen. It may be that you and this person are not meant to come together this month or come together, period. Um, if you are with someone of an earth sign, I feel like it's just this struggle with coming together. So whether this person says, I want to go to Cancun for spring break and you're like no I want to go to California you know it's like some some sort of little quarrels here and there um it could be well I'm ready to get married next spring and the other person's like no I want to get married this fall it's just something that there's some sort of disagreements and it's like spirit is working to bring you guys on the same page and it's like you're not also it could be that you're too much you know in a spiritual space and this person is dealing with mundane things and it's like you guys are just not on the same page right now is what i'm getting for those of you dealing with air sign love interest so this is gemini's libras and aquariuses your energy is express your love with the knight of pentacles which is actually um an earth sign but this is usually a devoted partner a patient partner um a down-to-earth partner or energy so I feel like you're pacing yourself, taking your time, not rushing in to give too much to this person just yet. I feel like there is love there. Or there's some things that you want to say and you're kind of looking at uh, this pentacle like, is it worth it? Or you're looking at this person. Are they worth these affections that I want to give? Are they worth the things that I want to say to them? This love that I want to express to them. Are they worth that? So it's kind of like you're pondering that. For some of you, I feel like if you're in a committed relationship with an air sign, I feel like you may be wanting to propose some sort of um, so, like solid bond or leveling up. I hear engagement. So some of you may be thinking about proposing or that person that you're dealing with may be thinking about proposing to you or proposing some sort of... Um, stable type of offer so it could be let's have joint accounts or let's move in together let's um i think we should move out of state or i'm you know i have this job offer and i would you know and i have to move out of the country i would love for you to come with me or let's have a baby or something where or let's start a business together it's something that's like very well is a stable fixed energy it's not fleeting like the wands or the, the swords it's something that's lasting long lasting okay um for those of you dealing with fire signs such as yourself sagittarius aries and leo love interest you have deception with the knight of wands so the knight of wands does represent a fire sign individual so there's like this facade between you and this person you you guys are not being honest with each other um i feel like there's a third energy here so there could be some cheating going on especially with the wands these are sexual energies usually so if there's some cheating going on i feel like either you or your partner are doing it because obviously 
you both are fire signs. So someone's out there, you know, getting it behind your back or you're out there getting it behind this other person's back. Also, I feel like there's a love interest that you're trying to swoop in on and you're not being your real authentic self or there's this false attraction to each other. It's like someone that's superficial and you're you're superficial and you're attracted to each other off of superficial reasons or, you know, it's this attraction to someone that may be in a relationship and you shouldn't be attracted to that person or they're attracted to you knowing that you have someone and they're trying to come in and flirt and kind of carry you away on their horse so you want to be mindful of this situation whoever this is if it's you or there's another person there's definitely some sneaky vibes going on this month with fire signs so fire sign if you're dealing with a water love interest you have cancer pisces or capricorn you have the getting to know each other card with the seven of swords so there, here too, there's a little bit of, I don't want to say sneaky, but not totally being honest and upfront with this person, keeping some things hidden. It's like you're still wanting to get to know this person or you don't feel like you know everything about this person. So you're kind of guarding yourself. You're keeping some of your secrets to yourself. They also could be doing the very same thing. This man is holding a sword here as well. So it's like, you both are looking at each other, kind of side-eyeing each other. There's suspicions, there's secrets. If you're in a relationship, one of you or both of you are hiding something from each other. And I feel like you need to have a sit down because whatever you're holding inside of you, I feel like whatever, once you get it out, it's actually going to strengthen your bond or it's going to actually clarify some things that you didn't know about the other person or they didn't know about you. I feel like some of you have mother issues and that might be something you have in common and it's kind of like an aha moment once it comes out as to why you both um, act a certain way in life or in this relationship. It kind of just clarifies everything. And then it's like the bond deepens because it's like now I understand why we understand each other or why we relate to each other in some way or why we've had to come together in some way. So... Um, that's what I'm getting for you, Sagittarius, is for this month. I hope this resonates and that you find it beneficial. If it doesn't fully resonate, of course, only take what does and erase the rest from your mind, which doesn't resonate. Um, so until next time, you guys, much love and light to you. Peace.